So I've noticed some unpleasantness, director Zoe owners, about rapid chargers. So I've noticed some unpleasantness about uh, Zoe's using rapid chargers, and I think there's a bit of a misconception about um, about a number of things actually. So a number of a number of people I've seen post uh, online saying um, you know Zoe's are always the ones blocking up the rapid chargers, and that you know Zoe's you know shouldn't be doing that. And uh, you know actually this Zoe can charge at 22 kilowatts if it's on a rapid charger, so why shouldn't it be on a rapid charger? Uh, just because you know there's other cars that can charge at 50 kilowatts, um, I don't think Zoe owners have any less right to be there than than others. Uh, okay, yeah, so the Zoe should have CCS, maybe by now, but it doesn't. Um, and you know, I think a lot of the misconception comes because the Zoes have only got Type 2 connector, um, and so people think that. Because able to rapid charge because uh, other cars which have CHAdeMO um, and CCS and some plug-in hybrids will only have a 7 kilowatt charger on their uh, Type 2 side whereas the Zoe ha can actually charge at 7, 11, 22 kilowatts um, uh, up to 22 kilowatts and some of the older Zoe's which aren't made anymore they have um, 40 kilowatts uh, of, of capability and they've still only got one Type 2 plug so um, we just at this rapid charger now, um, uh, checking it out because it's one that's local to us, and I thought I'd do a quick piece on that, uh, just to just to say, you know, look, if you see a Zoe at a rapid charger, um, you know, okay, if it's not charging and all of that, then you know, fine. But you know, if it is charging, then it will take a, a, a fairly quick charge, um, and it's certainly ch quicker than plugging it into the mains or plugging it into a seven kilowatt charge point. So, you know, go easy on them. I, I just don't like this idea that. Um, you know, people are complaining because they're blocking up chargers. It's a bit, it's a bit nasty. And let's be honest, there isn't enough chargers out there at the moment anyway. That's the biggest problem. And like here, it's right outside a busy shop, so I can see that this thing will get iced plenty of, uh, plenty of times. But it's, um, it's just, it's just growing pains. There's a lot more people um, buying electric cars. But you know, as part of etiquette, if you are rapid charging your car. Um, then only leave it there for half an hour or so um, so that someone else gets a chance to come and use it and also if you can put your telephone number on the dashboard or somewhere on the car that's visible so that if someone really you know just needs to know not they're not going to kick you off but they might just want to give you a ring and ask you how long you've been there so that they can you know make a decision on whether they need to uh, you know go on and go to the next rapid charger so you know that's um, you know just some common sense little bits and pieces really um, that you know would probably make everyone's lives a little bit easier but until there's more infrastructure out there I think you know there's still going to be a bit of a bone of contention until the ranges get longer I mean there's going to be two things that are going to happen over the next few years ranges are going to get longer um, so vehicles won't need to use the rapid charging networks um, as much as they do at the moment and then also the um, rapid chargers themselves are going to get a lot faster we're already, already seeing uh, 300 kilowatt rapid chargers coming along so you know you're not going to need to stay there very long at all and let's be honest who wants to stay uh, at a charge point any longer than they, they they really have to so you know those two things together will mean that you know this problem will go away um, you know, fairly quickly anyway thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one